So guys, this video is to see if there's an issue with your Red Arc Isolator. So here what I'm doing is just testing my Deep Cycle AGM battery. And basically, I'm just looking at the voltage charge of the battery itself, first of all. Now, I'm just showing you your system here. So this is my isolator. Obviously, the isolator connects to the starter battery. Um, there's two fuses as well, 100 amp fuses that I've used because I want to use the... Um, the blue trip wire. Now here what I'm doing is I'm just testing the terminals that run from the starter battery and we're seeing if there's a good voltage on them too. So here placing the red um, voltmeter thingo on there and we're going to do the other side or put on the ground um, as well to get a correct reading. Now I just put it on the, the ground there so that goes to the chassis obviously. Now that reads 12.74 for the starter battery, which was over there. Now here, now here I'm testing out um, the starter battery uh, voltage, and I'm actually getting the uh, positive that goes to the red arc isolator and the negative um, of the ground of the chassis there, and we got 12.77. So. Yeah, that was the starter battery voltage, and that was just to see if there's any uh, conduction um, issues with the, you know, or current issues with the cord itself. Now what I'm doing here, guys, is I am have the engine on, and I'm just seeing if the voltage is actually getting higher with the engine on. And as you can see, there's no increase in voltage at all. Um, that... So just to reiterate all the tests, I tested the auxiliary battery to see if it was totally discharged uh, because it is known that some of the isolators cannot um, charge a really dead battery because it can't sense any voltage there. So that was the reason why I tested the, main, the auxiliary battery first. Now I tested also the, all the cords and the uh, conductivity of the cords and the fuses and they were all good guys. Um, so they were reading um, the starter battery which was about 12.7 volts. And lastly the last test was to see if there would be a voltage increase once I turned the engine on. I left the engine running for about, um, about two to three minutes before testing the auxiliary battery just to make sure that the starter battery would be topped up and then there would be some sort of circuit flow into the auxiliary battery. And basically there was no flow, there was no increase in voltage um, in the auxiliary battery confirming that there is an issue with the isolator itself. Now I'm going to go down the route and actually get a BCDC red arc isolator. I'm going to do a full install um, and yeah guys if you're buying anything from uh, Facebook marketplace that's second hand um, you know really really you know ask about how long it's been used for and try to find information about it because this one in particular was a faulty isolator and red arc obviously has a really really good um, you know reputation for for being long lasting but every now and then um, these products um, you know they do have mechanical faults when they've been used beforehand so guys just a little bit of um, me talking here about that and uh, you know uh, choose your, your equipment well and I'll see you next video